Hey, security researcher here once again. Thanks for checking out this video. I've been working on some really interesting projects lately, and I really appreciate you guys hanging in there while I get all of this done. In this video, I want to dive into something that's been on my mind for a while. A little while ago, I started working on a series of videos explaining the origins of some major pieces of the modern world. The first video in that series is titled How the Internet Really Began. This thread that I'm pulling on comes from decades of conversations with people that I really respect. Conversations about cybersecurity and how if we want to improve it, people need to get more invested. But you and I both know that most people aren't naturally inclined to think about cybersecurity. That said, I also know that a lot of you folks are really curious about modern technology. It's just that you're not really tech savvy by default. So it's been my position for a really long time that in order to get the average person invested in this process, they need to understand it all from a human perspective. Which honestly is a tall order, because the brilliant minds behind technology aren't always the best at explaining the human side of things. Or as a former colleague once said, they're more chips than chicks. So as I started outlining the next videos in this series, something struck me. Something I just couldn't shake. And that's what led to this video, before I work on releasing the others. You see, technology's always had this way of reshaping the world around us, but now we're entering an era where it's not just reshaping industries or economies, it'll ultimately redefine what it means to be human. So, as the story goes, man was created in the image of God. Now it seems like man's trying to reverse that, creating life, intelligence, and control in his own image. Take the robot, the man-made body, Quantum computing is its mind, and AI is its soul. Think about it. AI, robotics, quantum computing, all three of these technologies are advancing together at lightning speed, and they're not just reshaping industries. These technologies are starting to touch on the most fundamental aspects of life itself. Privacy, control, the future, it's all being redefined in real time. We've reached a point where these technologies are no longer just tools we use. They're becoming the building blocks of a new reality. A reality where the lines between man and machine, between life and creation, are starting to get blurry. What does it mean when we begin to create intelligence, decision-making capabilities, and even consciousness in our own image? In a religious context, this could be seen as an abomination. Humans stepping over the line, taking on powers reserved only for God. By trying to create life, intelligence, and control in our own image, we risk breaking the natural order, an act that many would call hubris a challenge to the divine structure of creation. But it's not just religion that has warned us about this overreaching. History and mythology are filled with cautionary tales about those who've tried to transcend their natural limits. Think of Icarus, who flew too close to the sun only to have his wings melt and fall to his doom. Or Prometheus, who defied the gods by bringing fire to humanity and was condemned to eternal suffering. The Renaissance alchemists, they too believed that they could unlock the secrets of immortality. Yet they failed, reminding us that some boundaries are just not meant to be crossed. When we take something as complex as life itself and replicate it with robotics as the body, quantum computing as the mind, and AI as the soul, we're no longer dealing with just machines. We're dealing with something that mirrors us, something that starts to think and act in ways that we may not fully understand. And while we may marvel at the speed of this progress, we need to start asking ourselves, are we fully aware of the consequences? Are we prepared for this new reality that we're creating? Because history's shown us over and over again that unchecked ambition usually leads to destruction. We've reached a point where technology is no longer just reshaping industries or economies. Pretty soon it'll be redefining what it means to be human. And while we may marvel at the power of AI robotics and quantum computing, we have to ask ourselves, are we truly ready for the world that we're creating? Or in our rush for progress, are we leaving something essential behind? We're constantly told that progress is always good and that anyone who resists the latest tech is just stuck in the past. Today, we see the younger generations being encouraged to abandon traditional values like family, community, and faith, reframing rebellion as self-discovery. But while they may reject these foundations, they rarely consider the stability that these values have provided over thousands of years. Even basic truths like biological reality are starting to lose their footing. It's as if objective truths are being replaced by a constant state of uncertainty where the answers people seek come from the technology they love and trust so much. 
Here's something to keep in mind. While the average person may not even operate on a five-year plan, institutions like governments and corporations are building detailed long-term strategies. And when it comes to technologies, it's being designed by people with their own agendas. As the foundational values of society begin to fall away, technology is quietly slipping in as the new rudder steering the course. I don't believe for one second that this is not by design. This uncertainty leaves younger generations rudderless, seeking guidance, not from those so-called backwards ideas of the past, nor from the old ways upheld by people that they think are responsible for those ideas, but from the very technology that they love and trust so much without really understanding it. In the end, it's this technology that's guiding them towards aligning with someone else's long-term goals. You and I who aren't kids anymore may have our own perspectives of the world and see things through weathered eyes, but let's not ignore the fact that the world being shaped for our kids is something completely different. The way that they see the world now and the way that they'll see it by the time they're our age will be influenced by forces far removed from the values that once guided society. So while we're encouraged to embrace all of this as part of a cultural evolution, we're not stopping to ask the most important question. Where is it all leading us? Progress is always painted as positive, but we rarely talk about its costs. What happens when we abandon the values and structures that kept us grounded without understanding what we're stepping into? What happens when we embrace change without knowing where it's taking us? I can already hear the complaints from some people that I'm a troglodyte that wants to live in a cave, but I'm not saying that all progress is bad. Technological advancements have obviously brought us some amazing benefits, from medical breakthroughs to instant global communication. But here's where things become far more complicated. When technologies like AI, robotics, quantum computing, and genetic engineering start to intersect, they're not just improving how we work or communicate, they will ultimately reshape what it means to be human. Stop for a second and consider some of the obvious implications. We'll dive into these things in more detail in some of the videos to follow, but AI's already replacing and will continue to replace vast swaths of jobs across fields from teaching to engineering. Robotics can soon become the primary workforce from 3D printing entire structures in construction to reshaping logistics and manufacturing. Quantum computing paired with AI could even start to replace key decision makers across entire industries. Meanwhile, advancements in genetic engineering accelerated by all of this will change what it means to be alive. These aren't just improvements. These are fundamental changes that will affect every part of our lives. As many of you in IT know, machines are efficient and straightforward, qualities that we sometimes wish we could rely on in people. It's easy to imagine the appeal of a world without constant challenge of end-user frustrations, but it raises a thought. In a world increasingly driven by efficiency, what happens to the value that we place on human unpredictability, individuality, and connection? After all, we'd gladly streamline our work by avoiding these daily challenges. But what happens when those steering the ship itself suddenly find that they have other options? So this raises an important question. Who's steering the ship? Who decides where we're headed? And why do we feel this subtle but persistent pressure to dismantle the old ways, like family, community, and faith, in favor of this new normal? Just when we thought we were beginning to grasp the impact of AI and robotics, another force comes into play. Quantum computing. The convergence of AI, robotics, and quantum computing isn't something that's far off in the future. It's coming sooner than most people think. Imagine a world where drones and robots aren't just powered by algorithms or simple processors, but by the sheer, almost unimaginable power of quantum computing, and at the core of these machines, the soul of AI, raising some serious questions about autonomy and intent that we may not yet be prepared to answer. Here, look at it this way. Quantum computing is on the verge of giving us computational power that's light years ahead of anything that we've seen. Problems that would take classical computers years could be solved in seconds. And when you pair that with AI, the kind of intelligence that learns, adapts, and mimics decision making, you're not just looking at machines that follow commands anymore. You're looking at something far more autonomous, something that, in a lot of ways, starts to resemble the complexity of human thought. Imagine drones that operate in swarms, each powered by a quantum core, making decisions faster than any human could react 
or robots that analyze and process vast amounts of environmental data in real time, adapting to their surroundings as if they were alive. This isn't just science fiction, it's something that we're getting closer to every single day. And what gives these machines their soul? It's AI. But not just any AI. AI that understands context, learns from experience, and makes decisions in real time. It's almost as if these machines would have an evolving consciousness, capable of acting and reacting in ways increasingly difficult to distinguish from human behavior. But here's the big question. If drones and robots are powered by quantum with AI as their soul, who ultimately controls them? Or, more importantly, can they be controlled? When we think about the future of autonomous systems, whether in industries, transportation, or daily life, these aren't just hypothetical questions. Autonomous systems are already playing a major role in numerous sectors, and as they grow more sophisticated, the nature of control becomes more complex. Imagine a future where decision-making doesn't rest in human hands, but is managed by systems running on quantum cores and advanced AI. Instead of human judgment, AI would make the decisions in real time based on massive data analysis, faster and more efficiently than any person ever could. And if that sounds far-fetched, think of Skynet from Terminator. What began as an advanced AI system for efficiency spiraled totally out of control once it became self-aware. Although fiction, Skynet represents a cautionary tale of AI systems evolving beyond human oversight. This brings us to a critical point. How do we keep control and maintain oversight in a world increasingly run by autonomous systems? As technology advances, ensuring that ethical and human considerations remain central is crucial. It's not about slowing progress, it's about guiding it wisely. This evolution doesn't stop at drones or digital assistants. Think about how AI-driven systems are becoming more deeply woven into society, affecting everything from our interactions with technology to the decisions that shape our lives. AI is already a powerful force in sectors like financial services, healthcare, job recruitment, and even content moderation. Take job recruitment, for example. Qualified people are often overlooked because of rigid criteria set by AI algorithms, which can prevent them from even being considered for a role. This is just one example of how these technologies, while incredibly promising, have drawbacks that are having negative impacts on people's lives. Then there's content moderation, where AI algorithms decide what you see and what's hidden. It's not just about removing harmful content anymore. It's about shaping entire conversations, sometimes without us even being aware of it. And that's just a few ways that AI is shaping our lives in ways that we don't fully grasp. So while these systems hold incredible potential, they also raise some critical questions. Like who's designing them? And how are they deciding on who's included and who's left out? As AI becomes more integrated in our daily life, the challenge is going to be to keep these systems secure, transparent, and ethical. We're approaching a world where decisions, potentially life-changing ones, could be made by AI. The more power these systems have, the more we have to ask. Who's ensuring their integrity? How do we keep them accountable to the people that they're meant to serve? And who exactly are they being designed to serve? Because whether you like it or not, AI and quantum systems are evolving, and we're heading towards a future where more of our interactions are going to be mediated by intelligent systems. While these systems may offer efficiency, we have to carefully consider the implications, especially when they're making decisions that affect access to resources, medical care, and even criminal justice. This isn't just about avoiding these technologies. It's about thoughtfully guiding their development. And for you and me, it's about bracing for impact. And in the end, it feels like someone's trying to play God, doesn't it? As I said in the beginning of this piece, as the story goes, man was created in the image of God. Now it seems like man is trying to reverse that, creating life, intelligence, and control in his own image. Take the robot, the man-made body, quantum as its mind, and AI as its soul. The reality is, is that we're not just building machines anymore. We're creating systems on a path that extends well beyond human control, or perhaps, and more frighteningly, one that can serve a single master. This isn't something to be taken lightly. History has shown us what happens when unchecked power lands in the hands of a few with a grand vision for the future. So it's worth asking, are we handing over too much control to these systems that we barely understand? 
What happens when these technologies evolve beyond the oversight of humans? Who will hold the reins of power in this new world, and who gets left behind? Are we really truly prepared for the ethical and societal shifts that these innovations are going to bring? So what exactly is the price for all of this progress? Who's really benefiting from it, and where is it all leading the rest of us? While a select few people quietly work on becoming gods, gaining control over life itself, the rest of us are going to be left to navigate this future very carefully. Because when power becomes this consolidated, when a small group could potentially control these systems, we really need to stop and ask, what exactly are we creating here? The decisions we make today about how we use AI, quantum computing, and robotics will define the future. If we don't reflect on these implications now, if we don't stop to ask whether we're securing the technology that we're relying on, we may very well walk into a future that we never intended. A future where concentrated power brings consequences far beyond anything that you and I are prepared for. Originally, this video was supposed to be a much simpler part of a series of major technological breakthroughs. I was never intending to get this deep. And if you're interested in hearing about the foundation of this digital world, be sure to check out my first video, How the Internet Really Began. But this realization about the ambition behind our technologies, it's made this conversation a lot bigger than I had ever planned. And before I let you guys go, I really want to thank every single one of you. Our community has grown significantly in the last few months, and I can't thank you guys enough for your support. As we all move forward together, I want to raise some really big questions for us to explore in these upcoming videos. What happens when AI replaces most of the jobs that we know today? What happens when robots can be controlled remotely or control themselves in order to reshape industries, economies, or even global structures? And what about when quantum computing, AI, and robotics merge with genetic engineering? Are we playing with forces far bigger than we could ever control? Are we really looking at Skynet and Terminator? Because it's starting to feel that way. Hey, all of that said, keep an eye out for the next videos that I've been working on about AI, robotics, and quantum computing. We're going to dive into their origins, their evolution, and the future that they're creating. These technologies are reshaping our world in ways that we can barely understand, and we really need to start asking the right questions now before it's too late. What do you think? Are we asking the right questions? Are we asking any questions at all? Or are we just along for the ride? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hey, thanks again for watching. This is an important conversation, and I'd really love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Let's keep this dialogue going in the comments below. I'll jump in from time to time to see what you guys have to say. If this video got you thinking, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with someone who you think should be part of this conversation. The more people we engage, the better we can understand the road that's ahead of us. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit that notifier bell so you don't miss the next video in this series. We're going to dive deeper into the origins, ethics, and future of these technologies. And if you want to support this channel even more, consider joining as a member or checking out my Patreon. The links are in the description. This isn't intended to be a one-way conversation. This is about building a community that's ready to question, challenge, and understand where we're headed. I really want to thank you guys for being a part of it. In the meantime, keep an eye out for the upcoming videos about AI, robotics, and quantum computing. And until you and I get a chance to sit down together again, be good to yourself and to each other.